Hi there viewer, how are you doing today? Welcome to the collective reading and this is going to be from the 27th of May through to the 2nd of June and we'll have a look at what's happening in the collective and things that might be oh, things that might be impacting you or coming towards you and the energies that you might be dealing with this week. Uh, we've got a much calmer week in terms of astrology. We have most of the planets uh, that are going direct at the moment. We've got uh, the Sun currently in Gemini. Um, we've got Venus going in, direct in Gemini on the 3rd of June. So just after this energy, we've got the, well, the approach of Venus going into the sign of Gemini, Gemini energy, and being very prominent at the moment. Jupiter is, has currently just gone into Gemini, and that's direct. We've got Mars in... Aries at the moment, so at home in the Aries energy and conjunct Chiron um, crossing this week, which is all around our healing, our wounded healer. So there could be some healing that comes up or action that we are we find ourselves in or action that we are inspired to take towards healing uh, deep wounds. So there could be that this week, but there's a lot of positive energy that is surrounding us at the moment to find truth with the full moon just being in Sagittarius and we're still feeling some of that energy from this week from the 23rd of May. So there's a lot of positive energy coming through this week in terms of spiritual growth. So we'll have a li little look at that, but let's see what's been happening where we're at and um, what spirit want us to know for this week. So let's take a look and see what comes through viewer. And this is for obviously any sign. And we've got the world, yeah, we've got completions. This feels like the healing energy. We've got, the, yeah, we've got the world and the three of air, so the three of swords. So there's pain being healed. This is that Chiron energy coming straight out for us. There's a completion happening. Something is really turning. Something's aligned for us to be able to really clear old wound energy. And this is pain in the heart space. This feels a lot like grief, actually. The grief of loss of something, the grief of moving away from something. The grief, it feels like a big grief of loss actually here. Let's see what else spirit want us to know. So let's put those there. This three of air energy, oh, they came out the other way. This three of air energy is, it, it's like the integration of pain in some way. Let's, oh, okay, we've got the high priestess and we've got the four of fire. Yeah, portal energy. So spiritual portal energy very strong this week our spirits said take this one okay and okay we've got a lot of major arcana coming out for you viewer this week we've got temptation which is the devil energy what else for the viewer and the collective energy what's impacting us with collective energy this week please spirit i'll flip these around in a second i just feel to keep shuffling there we go this is with the high priestess energy this is the spiritual wisdom, there's wisdom uh, that we're gaining from something. It's like we are presented with a situation where we would have reacted in an old way. We would have reacted in a way that was not in line with our higher self, with this high priestess energy. We're, but we're making moves to, comp to make different choices, all about different choices this week. And we're going through something like a, a almost like a test, but there's a portal to a higher energy the choice to make the spiritual enlight or the enlightened decision, the conscious decision that helps us completely close this cycle. Very, very powerful energy. And it's like, you're gonna wanna go and celebrate. I wanna say to you, celebrate. When you feel like something comes up and it has, you, you're dealing with it in a different way now, or there's a different energy, a different power that you've tapped into, especially with this strong Sagittarius energy, the full moon Sagittarius energy coming, and um, which will be impacting us quite strongly this week, um, and the next kind of week or two weeks, and then the what we're doing now, and the cycles we're closing now, and the new cycles we're opening up to, there's this uh, six month cycle with that moon energy, if you resonate quite strongly with the moon cycle, we've got the nine of earth, very positive in terms of resources. This is about our independence in the material world. And we've got the Ace of Fire, new passions. This is so incredible, this energy, you are so incredible. There's something we're moving past. There is a big cycle completing with the world energy here, a big cycle. We've learned something profound that is gonna change how we 
move through life, how we make decisions, how we don't go into any conditioning or ego play and how we tap into this inner wisdom. Like we've tapped into this, the veil between the worlds. So we now are experiencing more balance. We're inviting more balance in the material and spiritual worlds. If you find yourself being and a part of the journey, part of the spiritual journey is knowing in our minds and in our intellect, especially with the Gemini being, energy being quite strong, that's all about the mind, intellect, Mercury energy. With that being quite prominent right now, it's like how we're thinking about things, how we are, uh, uh, our mind is going into what makes us feel secure and knowledge for security perhaps might be impacting you as well. Um, and we've got the, I think Mercury in um, Taurus, is and mercury is direct at the moment so the taurus energy is all about slow steady stable secure fixed energy so we could be thinking we could be thinking about new ways finding new ways of security and that could be on an intellectual level but on the spiritual journey when we have thoughts about the spiritual how we want to act spiritually but then when we're in the and for our higher self which is the high priestess energy when we want to when we're actually in the situation moving through that situation with that knowing and trusting that knowing can be very difficult because the mind so often takes over but this energy here you're in such a power it's like you're being presented with an opportunity to to show yourself just how powerfully you can deal with these situations how powerfully how powerful you are spiritually as well feels very very strong okay let's see what other energies are surrounding this or how this might be coming up for you this week with energies coming towards you in the from the collective energy Let's have a look for the viewer. What kind of situation is surrounding this completion? We've got the sun. Nice. Yeah. Very brighter day, second chances. This can also be in lo like uh, sparking our curiosity. We've got patience. And we've got sixth chakra, Archangel Michael. Yeah. Okay. So. There's a... A second chance at a situation perhaps there's a, a, a situation this however this situation is and it's going to be different for everybody how it's appearing in the physical but there's a huge shift spiritually a, a spiritual growth spiritual evolution step that's being taken this week that is very profound you're going to feel the effects of that and there's a new start for something there's a warmth in something there's a creative energy there's an openness energy it's like there's a vibrancy that's coming towards you but it's because you are activating it within yourself Amazing. There's some Leo energy coming through here as well. It's like a fresh new take on something. A new cycle, a new opportunity. This could also, this well, this could be appearing in any area of your life. But this could be in a romance. This could be at work. This could be anywhere. This could just be on your own spiritual development journey, your own evolution journey with the high priestess energy. And something, that whatever's being healed opens up something that makes you feel incredibly independent it gives you the courage as well to step into something that's going to bring in more money more financial security more resources more material stability in in something and we've got the sixth chakra archangel michael um, sorry did i say um archangel michael before archangel metatron and this is about what we're seeing our visions our third eye our intuition we're trusting our intuition a lot more now and um, but there's a pa the patience energy coming out which is just spirit telling us to be aware of any divine timing that's at play here the patience for something to come in sustaining in the energy of positivity and not worrying about the timing of things and just trusting that something is going to find us in divine timing whenever this patience energy comes it's always like there's this portal energy this 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 celebration of moving through and releasing the old but it's quite often we realize we're releasing the old when we've walked into the new so let's have a look what else we need to know about the how this might be coming towards us so this could be a situation you want to move quite quickly on but you have a, an instinct to move slowly and have patience spirit saying that's exactly the right instinct um trust your inner knowing keep things in balance so something coming back into balance power number 22 here a mastery number okay and this is about partnerships so this could be affecting your seventh house in some way could be affecting your um and we've got this this could be a twin flame connection as well for some of you with uh, or a very deep soul soul connection with the 22 energy the balance and this the four of fire four of wands coming up what else how else might this be playing out for the viewer please spirit it's like you're discovering your own truth with this 
Sagittarius energy as well with the full moon. It's discovering our own truth, discovering other truths on a more global level, expanding in our own truth. We've got women holding coin and journey. So this could be you, viewer. This could be you thinking about the, the wisdom of where you've got to and how you want to move forward. This could also be somebody else coming into your life with a very strong feminine energy or with feminine en energy in the situation that gives you some kind of financial support and, and resources to do something or to uh, instigate something with this creative energy coming up and the journey you're already on you already on the journey sorry i've just moved the table there and um, you're already on the journey so this isn't a new step into it something new this is something that has been slowly slowly working its way into your uh, world and into your energy and things are starting to fall into place where you can be open but you're in the middle of this journey you're embarking on this journey you've already stepped in okay what do we need to know about this ace of fire you could be invited or there could be talk or suggestion this week or a feeling to go and do something new Okay, what else do we need to know about the energy this week? Something that was off balance is definitely coming back into balance here. And we've got the Angel of Strength. We've got this strong Leo energy coming up for anybody that has uh, any the strong Leo placements or dealing with somebody with strong Leo placement. It doesn't have to be. It could just be that area of the chart, fifth house energy, or it could be where Leo is placed in your chart that this is going to be more prominent for you. But whatever pain has, been, has happened in the past is healed this week. It, we're moving past that pain. We're integrating that pain. We're understanding it from a very, from our high priestess energy, from this higher level consciousness energy. Amazing. Okay, let's have a look at what we need to be aware of this week. What are we dealing with that is coming towards us that we are crossing perhaps? Let's have a look at what's coming towards us with this energy here. How is this going to be impa impacting us? What's coming towards us? Okay. We have originality. Aquarius energy, 11th house energy. So this is really about how we are, the 11th house energy is about how we are expanding in the world, relating to the world with everything that is outside of us. So our friendships, this is socially what we do. This is our social um, interactions. But with the Aquarius energy, it's how are we doing this originally? How are we stepping into our authenticity? This could be a creative pursuit that you want to take. This could be just rewriting the rules, I feel here. Criticism. So the, something, the, whatever caused this pain could have, and this is Mars energy in uh, Virgo, sixth house energy. So whatever criticism has come our way to do with something or self-criticism or criticism from somebody else, that's healing, that grief, that that feeling of rejection, the feeling of isolation or loneliness, the grief that came up from somebody not understanding or criticizing us, that's being really healed this week. We see the bigger picture on that. There's something that helps us see that. I feel like this could come to, into in dreams for some of you. And we've got convention. Interesting. So this is 10th house energy. This is interesting because we're moving away from convention with this original energy, with this originality energy, with the Aquarius energy. This is about doing things in a different way. This is inventing something new, being the rebel of what's already been done and moving moving through on an intellectual, because it's the mind energy on an intellectual level. We've got the, um, we've got Capricorn energy coming here. So there could have been doubt in something. And this week it's like the doubt is subsiding and where we might have felt like we needed to be in the, in a, a mode of pleasing other people this could be just following the rules but it not getting anywhere but there's a way to follow the rules where it does get us somewhere it's not like we have to break the rules detrimentally it's how we shift the rules to suit us and how where we want to go how our relationships are because this does feel like it's in partnership with with something because something's coming into balance and we've got energy that's that's 
coming towards you here with the 10th house, 11th house energy, energy that's coming towards you. And so this is Venus in Capricorn energy. And we've got concentration, Saturn in Gemini. So what is it that you want to focus on? What I feel like there's two things here, actually. There's spirit saying you've been devoted to your pathway, your spiritual pathway, your, your involvement, just naturally on a spiritual level. But what is it that you want to bring in? What is it you need to be focusing on? What kind of limitations are you being made aware of this week by other people putting limitations on you or the situation, your environment, limitations on you around your environment, perhaps? We've got bluff. Okay, we've got more Gemini. We've got the sun in Gemini energy. So we've got a lot of Gemini energy coming. So we've got the, we've got Jupiter in Gemini. Where is it that something, there's two truths and a lie. And we've got the temptation energy, women holding a coin and the bluff energy. So where is it that somebody's offering something that's too good to be true, particularly when it comes to money, finances or resources? And we've got friendship, the moon in Cancer, fourth house energy. So this is really where we learn more about our identity and what makes us feel secure, what makes us feel rooted, rooting these lessons that come in. So where something might have happened bringing in the energy of throwing us off our balance, throwing us, throwing us off the road that we we're on, just the distraction of the journey in some way. What is it that we need to concentrate on? Where does our energy need to be focused? Where do we need to be rooted in order for us to move forward? For some of you, this is a new friendships coming in as well, but this could be friends that you have around you that are helping you on this journey so that you're not doing it on your own. And we've got flirtation. Venus energy, Sagittarius, ninth house. This is about bringing adventure, the fl just flirting with life. This could be in your romantic relationship, but this doesn't have to be at all. This is something coming in where we want to play with it. This is the playful energy. There's a couple of uh, um, Venus energies here. And this, um, for ninth and tenth house, this is the adventure that we go on. This is about perhaps going on this is about long journey so we've got the journey energy here and the maybe moving outside of the home maybe going on holiday this is about our long distance travel this is also about philosophy and flirting with the adventure of life so the adventure of something being unknown we've got this this new start this new passion something being reignited here so there could be something activating on that level for you let's have a look at the journey that you'll be taking with this collective energy impacting your week. Let's have a look about your journey a little bit with this collective energy. I wanna say as well, don't follow the rules because you have to. Follow the rules because those are the rules you're choosing to follow. It's almost like finding your own little loophole in your own mind so that you're like, okay, I can't do this because of these reasons, but I can mitigate these reasons by doing it like this and I can still protect what I need without doing going too far outside of the boundary where I feel like I'm wobbling or I feel like I'm too vulnerable. We've got rescue. Yeah, this is you. This is you coming back to yourself. Your Something about you coming back to your passion. Movement, yes movement forward this week this so your journey is taking you forward this week and there's this is trusting that you the resources that you need with the dry desert energy this is trusting the resources that you need will find their way to you at exactly the right time and then you're flying i love this card i love this energy so much this is you feeling elevated this and coming on top of the high priestess here as well you being completely in balance of the earth material of the physical and of the spiritual the ethereal the cosmos the energy your energy imprint this is everything combined coming into this real oneness energy into the unknown yeah felt that very strongly going into the unknown with something and having this flirtation energy kind of at play here flirting with the unknown flirting with the adventure flirting with the this could be flirtation in any respect inviting new things in to spark something like surprises there could be a surprise coming for you sorry i didn't mean to put that upside down and there could be a surprise coming in for you for some of you you might have a birthday or you might have an anniversary or some kind of celebration coming up 
um, with some of the energies that we've got here. And this is spirit saying, don't worry about how it's gonna impact you, other people, enjoy. Slow and steady. Yes, okay, this is, yeah, this is the patience energy coming up and field of dreams. Slow and steady gets you to your dreams this week. Okay, slow and steady. We have, yeah, protecting treasure. Okay, there's, you're moving towards a very lucrative idea, pathway, energy for something. Let's see what's being activated in you through this. Because this feels like, this is like dreams coming true. This is you getting what you want. This is getting what you desire. This is having ideas. Um, getting ideas from other people, talking about your ideas with other people, talking about your journey and experiences with other people, and that sparks something else. This is making choices that don't keep you bound and fixed in the ways of moving in the world that you're used to. This is about moving the way that you want to. There's self-initiated desire energy coming through here. And we've got Mother Earth, yeah, being very rooted in your own energy, being very rooted here and peace. If any of you are in a situation where you feel it feels very uncomfortable, if you feel you're not rooted, whatever happens this week, whatever's coming towards you this week that gives you this healing, that this new cycle starting or being very aware of a new cycle that you're already on and you can start see things start falling into place, it's this the peace energy coming into play here where things feel really disorganized it's all really overwhelming this is the coming back to our self energy and moving forward from this this deeper self of a deeper sense of self that allows us to spread our wings and fly flexibility so this yeah with where we i think we picked up on this uh, kind of fixed energy earlier but this is the flexibility to allow things to come in in certain ways we've got um there's something very creative here. Hmm. Because we've got crown chakra, which is our connection to the divine. So this energy here is our high priestess energy because we've got the earth chakra, which is all our root, our rooting. It's like deeper, deeper into the earth than our root chakra. And then we've got our crown chakra, which is all about the connection that we have to spirit. And this is the consciousness energy coming in. And then we've got, so we've got something being rooted, something being some connection to the divine that is really profound some of you might be getting ideas or um, inspiration or healing in dreams as well that just like reconnects something you and another person you and your passion and then we've got the sacral chakra energy flexible how things come to you flexible how you're dealing with things flexible so that you don't have to know what's coming you're stepping into this unknown energy um, and that's i think feel like that's a bit of this patience here as well i feel to get one more abundance <laughs> yay i love this so this is our root chakra this is coming back to ourself being fully aligned is take i want to say it's like drinking in the moment being really aware of the moment of everything that's happening within the moment what is it that we're letting go of this week with this energy because you're moving towards something that is very materially abundant i, I do feel like it's material it's moving house it's going on holiday and reconnecting with someone it's it's pro progress in a business there's something that's very progressive this week that that is tangible that's physically tangible what are we learning what are we letting go of no not what we're learning what are we letting go of this week okay indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of my life so this could be something you've been sitting with for a while i did feel earlier We've stepped onto the road already when we had this journey energy coming out. We've stepped onto the road already and we might not have realised how far we've come or that we're on this whole brand new cycle. It's going to be, be very apparent this week with this world energy coming out. But where we might not have made decisions before or been very indecisive, we're not allowing that to hold us back anymore. We can be indecisive and still take action to explore what, action, what decision we want to make or we can be very decisive. This desire, this action towards desire, there's a lot of Mars energy coming up. Um, as, are we, and because Mars is in Chiron and Chiron's the healer, uh, and the energy of healing, I feel the energy, Mars and Aries energy, 
it's helping us heal, but it's helping us take action and be decisive. We've got empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So it could be this that dissolves something that needs healing or something that needs mending in some way or rebalancing. And we've got health. I will honour the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So spirit saying, be very aware of your health. Be very nurturing on a physical level. Very physical energy this week. It's beautiful. Some things coming in on a physical level. Okay, what else do we need to know about this week? Where are we going now, spirit? Okay. Longer term pathway. We've got a lot of these major arcanas as well. So what's the longer term pathway on a spiritual level that's impacting the viewer this week with this energy? What part of the collective is the viewer tapping into? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's look at where this is where we are at this moment in time with your own personal spiritual journey where are we going towards transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing definite deep healing happening this week viewer there is wisdom there is reconnection there's activation total transformation total transformation how we looked at something or how something was or how we were, we were experiencing something is is going into a a deeply conscious area this week. Protection, pull back your power, cut cords, soul retrieval. So this is the spirit saying protect your energy. With this temptation energy as well, it could be protecting yourself and your environment from any energies entering your environment that feel not aligned. And I feel, I wanna to say to you as well, you don't even need a reason. You don't even need a reason to say, I want to spend, you know, one evening on my own I want to and this could be appearing in friendships for a lot of you as well you might this might be just certain people certain energies that this journey this part of your journey requires and it's not about cutting somebody off or out perhaps it could be for some of you um in some respects with closing this cycle but it's about protecting your energy and not releasing your energy to somebody else so that you're in a position of feeling drained we've got break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future if there's something you haven't done because you have been worried about it, the energy is, or you've been concerned or you haven't had the confidence or there's been this self-doubt coming in, um, perhaps to do with this criticism, if there's been anything like that, this is the week to consciously heal that and rewrite your story. You could be doing that in writing. We had third house energy, didn't we, coming out earlier? Yes, with the bluff. It's like bluffing life. This could be bluffing life. Some of it, for some of you, this is watching out for somebody bluffing you. Um, I feel for more of you, this is being very quick to cut people off that are of that way inclined and want to protect your energy from, from them. But to bluff life, it's like you've lived a certain way with certain beliefs so far. And now you're saying, do you know what? No, my journey is changing. My pathway is changing. I've chosen a different route. And that's breaking the chain of something. But this is huge. This is huge. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to know about the energy this week on a personal level for the viewer? Let's see what our spirit wants you to know because you're going through a, a deep change, deep change, but the change is positive. It's like you could have thought about asking somebody out and this is the week that you do that or they ask you out. This could be... Uh, you wanting to take the next step in a relationship this could be business partnerships for some of you are starting your own business there is an independent energy here so i feel for some of you this is to do with your decision forward on your own supported by other people supported by your loved ones and your friends but something that you want to do on your own and we have cosmic pearl expand your psychic gifts open the gate to angelic realms so spirits calling in in for you to be open to this uh, third eye energy um, if also I'm just getting as well some of you might have been in class or a development circle or um, you've done different healing modalities and there's been criticism on how you heal on how you conduct mediumship on how you conduct tarot on how you do different spiritual things Reiki spiritual healing um, shamanic healing drumming music it could be anything it could be creative with a lot of creative energy here but this is spirit saying 
don't don't worry about any of that because that is not coming from spirit it's not coming from life it's not coming from your own soul this is at all this is coming from a completely different place which we're cutting off we're protecting our energy against that this week um so anything that's been cr criticized especially on your spiritual pathway or your spiritual decisions it's like you've made the decision to be in truth and everybody's criticized you for it this is where this is why you know you need to go in a different direction it's like and it, it's not necessarily going to be this but it's like you you're in a group of friends that don't necessarily understand your spiritual uh, beliefs pathway evolution um your journey on, on a spiritual level on a creative level on a connected level and spirit saying now's the time to trust in these nudges that you're getting and not in the not in these connections that you have because it's like letting them go to allow something else yes to come in ascension lift this is what you're going through this week prepare for rapid spiritual growth be ready for opportunities i feel like this is the ultimate energy for this reading i'm going to just put that there so that we can come back to it um because this this is everything about this energy this is really everything about this energy amazing okay let's have a look at what else we need to know about what's coming towards us any advice so what is what opportunity are we walking into what is with you we need to know about this opportunity what opportunity is coming in so what do we need to know about this opportunity for the viewer please thank you okay or how might this be coming in what's coming in and how might this be coming in okay four of wands <laughs> so how it might be coming in or what might be coming in for some of you this is very strong uh, rom soulmate romantic energy or a deepening of a, a romantic connection or a reconnection towards your spiritual growth because this can also be a portal energy it's a celebration energy or it's something where we are celebrating it could be an anniversary a birthday anything that's where and it's this event or it's this energy that, that pushes you into this unknown, but this positive energy, this opportunity energy. And we've got the three of ones. Thinking now about what you want because you know that you can get it. You're breaking the cycles on, on other things. This could also be somebody coming in to show you what is possible. Yes, this is possible. Wisdom, abundance, passion, desire. This is, this is somebody who lives their passions. This is somebody that listens, listens to their intuition and, and really follows their truth and their passion. And this is you, viewer, this week. Six of Cups. Somebody, it could be somebody coming back in from your past. This also, for, oh, amazing. Ten of Pentacles. And um, so this is coming in definitely materially. There could be somebody coming in from your past or it could be this feeling that this feeling of desire from your past that you've kind of repressed or, or ignored or um, haven't reconnected with or haven't engaged in or has just kind of been kind of been put on the shelf a little bit and this week you're tapping back into that desire into that emotional fulfillment that connection what you want to be emotionally fulfilled and um, but it's taking you to success following that grain of truth is like your holy grail it takes you to this success okay let's have a look at um, what might be a challenge or a block? Okay. Okay, well, we've got quite a few here. I'm not entirely sure that... Okay, we've got the Four of Swords. I'm not entirely sure that this is everything for this question. Okay, Spirit's saying two. I'm going to show you all of them. Four of Swords, just because in case anything resonates. So... Being in contemplate is not the week to be in contemplation. It's not the week to be in your head. It's the week to tap into your passions and feel what is inspiring, what it is that you desire. Staying away from anything that feels like it's ducking the obvious. This could be somebody being sneaky, perhaps. This could be the bluff that's coming up. This is also you ducking what you know to be your own pathway um, and facing it head on because it's going into this unknown that can be really scary. This could be moving away from things that feel intellectually or um, in some kind of mental way very trapping, very limiting, which is a lot of the healing and the Knight of Wands. This is about not going in too quickly. This is about being aware of the passion, the action you need to take. You've already learned so much. We've got two Knights here. We've got the Knight of Cups 
and the Knight of Wands. This is about passion that fulfills you emotionally. There's, for some of you, there's something coming towards you that is an offer of love and or a deepening or a, a progress in some kind of romantic connection. This person feels stuck right now because they might be in their heads. They might not be taking action right now, um, but they will do. But the challenge is them not having the confidence, perhaps. Um, yeah, and we've got strength in the magician. Wow. You've got a lot of major arcana actually here. So this is you really trusting that you have everything that you want to create. The magician is all about this, the alchemy of creation, the alchemy of creation from the spiritual into the physical. And that's exactly what you're doing this week. And it's trusting that you can do that. It's having lots of chaos, lots of things going on around you, but trusting that you can be in this energy you can do whatever you want to do this is removing any kind of limitation okay let's see the possible outcome energy what should you be aiming to step into knight of swords four of pentacles yeah this is holding on to your values let's have a look what else what else is a viewer please and um, yeah could, as soon as you align with this energy it happens very quickly and we've got the yes. Okay. As soon as you step into the energy of trusting yourself, you've got the eight of wands and the fall. So this is something happening very quickly. It's like you have this, this idea, this desire, this moment of, do you know what? Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be there. I'm going to, I'm going to go to that thing. I'm going to write that email. I'm going to pick up the phone and phone that person. I'm going to ask for that raise. I'm going to, tell somebody that I want to move in with them. This could be happening in any way with you, but there's a whole new part of your journey that's emerging. A whole new part of your journey. Incredible. Incredible. Okay. Um, hold on to your values. Hold on to your values as a person because by moving into something very different, you're not losing anything at all. You're gaining. You're not losing any part of who you are by letting things go. I feel that's very important for some of you. Okay, let's get some love messages, just some messages of uh, self-love, some heart space messages, some divine love messages, and see what spirit want you to know. Have a look. The viewer, please. And this is especially for you and how you're connecting with this energy this week, viewer. Humility, you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. Yes, if there's anybody that you are going, you're veering off the path with, particularly in friendships or something that's got a base of friendship, this is understanding that sometimes that's just what's needed. Sometimes people need just to have a little bit of their own space and then reconnect or not reconnect, whatever the truth is of that situation. But it's the humility to be able to allow that to go with grace without any over explanations, any overthinking about things. Because sometimes people are just on different pathways. But in order for your heart to feel full, you have to be true to your pathway this week because we're on this ascension lift. And spontaneity, yes, we had this earlier with this adventure energy. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. This is all about moving away from the mind and into your passion and taking action from a place of passion. The energy this week is all about going on the adventure, not being in your mind, being in action, if you need to be in action, using the mind as a tool to get things done, but not using a mind a mind not using the mind as a tool to make decisions that's why there's been this indecision energy that's been very stuck that we're letting go of this week okay what else for the viewer please spirit for this week message spiritual messages of guidance for you viewer and then we'll get some final words of advice so what does the viewer need to know with this adventure energy this week and this pathway one more there we go okay we have vibration your vibration is being raised to higher levels you are connected to cosmic intelligence 
oh, this is, I, I want to, if I could jump up and down right now without moving the table, I would. This is the, the vibration you are on is just going through the roof and breaking any limitation, any kind of so-called ceiling of anything. You're breaking this, a, a true ascension lift, you're flying. You, you are no longer bound by limitations. You're going on an adventure spiritually, physically, however this is applying for you you're connected to cosmic intelligence and that is not the mind the mind is not cosmic intelligence the mind is amazing for getting things done and problem solving it is not it is restrictive and detrimental to our spiritual pathway because the mind doesn't understand the spiritual pathway the way that our knowing and our intuition does we can connect them we can be at one with everything because that's essentially the same thing is everything that the everything connected together but the way of the spiritual seeker of the spiritual warrior is not through the mind it surpasses the mind it goes deeper than the mind it goes to something that the mind does not understand particularly well the conditions of the mind does not understand because it's not to do with our survival it's not to do with our physical it's not to do with logic it's to do with something totally different and you're going down this pathway and that takes a lot of strength we've got strength that's come up twice here angel of strength and strength I, um, this is you as well so don't feel that you are you cannot deal with something you can deal with anything the more you open up the more resources come to you that you need fruition rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition i want to jump up and down again viewer this is amazing it's coming to fruition trust it okay trust it it's coming but it's being very clear, very decis decisive, and very aligned with your desire. There's something that you desire deeply that will bring you a lot of joy and a lot of fulfillment. This is the week to take action and to align with those things. Okay, let's get some final words of guidance for you, viewer. Okay. Okay. We have unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. What perfect, beautiful, amazing energy to finish with. Huge transformations this week. Huge transformations on a spiritual level viewer trust it trust it this week because something's something has to be cycled out before something else can come in but i feel a lot of you already know instinctively even if you can't see it in the physical it's going to come in but it's coming in the physical this week you're going to start to see how it can be realized in the material okay there's infinite possibilities we are not bound by anything um, and use this energy to propel you towards something that is incredibly fulfilling on a spiritual level because that will be what is most fulfilling overall over everything okay viewer i hope that you got some messages of guidance from spirit today that are supportive on your week and to uh, tap into these energies these really incredible energies that are coming towards you this week uh, thank you for watching the reading with me as always and i will catch you next time take care and have a wonderful week